Welcome back, it's the Wicked One. It's been a little while, I haven't recorded a video recently. But we have a new update. <clears throat> we got a new hero, Dracon. Let's go over his specialties real quick. We got monk upgrades and enchanter, a prayer upgrades to expert prayer, which can be effective on two units, and the HP healed will be increased by an additional 10%. That's not a big increase to the HP healed, but two targets instead of one, that's a pretty good upgrade there. And then for a second, Specialty. Mage upgrades to Enchanter. Her Hurricane becomes effective on two units, and the targets are blown in the air by Hurricane Camp. Increase their unit damage reduction. This skill is pretty cool. Basically, it'll take out two units, and they'll get hit by units pretty decently hard. It makes it so their damage reduction doesn't take effect. That's pretty cool. I can imagine. Dracon with both Monk and Mage with a probably a green dragon or an Ephrudi would be really good at optimizing this second special team. Because Green Dragon and Ephrudi both will hit the backline units with their skills. And then at 3 star, unit damage and unit damage reduction of all friendly cast units increase by 10%. This is a universal one. This one's good to pick up just for that extra damage increase. <clears throat> cast units even outside of this hero. And at 4 star, when our enchanter is on the battlefield, all friendly ranged and cast units will become immune to spell damage every 12 seconds, last for 4 seconds. This is pretty cool. <clears throat> Basically one third of the time you're in battle, your range and cast units will become immune to spell damage. Going over his first skill, clone. Copy one of your units, add a 14% of the original unit's attack, and take 200% more damage after 30 seconds. It's an okay skill, pretty expensive for what it really does. Doesn't give you much damage increase there. That was give another target, kind of cool. Then a third, second skill is Frozen Arrow. Pretty simple. <clears throat> it's one of the arrow skills, pretty low damage on those, pretty low cooldown, pretty low mana cost. Does slow for 8 seconds. And you have one wall. Summon one will when all the increase dodge by 20% and those get 20 percent for the following from the units which pass through it lasts for 10 seconds. It's an okay skill. Good with demon and try to increase your dodge. Other than that, it's not very good. And you have lightning bolt. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little sick. Um Lightning Bolt will give you it does pretty decent damage. Pretty good cooldown on it. A little high for mana cost for how low the cooldown is. That's his best skill is Lightning Bolt. Clone will be very interesting to see how people use it. Or see how the AI uses it. I haven't actually used this guy yet. It seems pretty decent. It doesn't seem like he's a top tier hero, but it doesn't seem like he's going to be in the top 10. And we do have a new game mode. It is the Conflux play. I do have one try on each of them. Let's go and try this. What do we got? Oh, highest level 2. Oh, I guess maybe 2 is the max? I guess I didn't do mine yesterday. But everyone else has a couple more tries on me. Maybe that's how it is. Not really sure. What it looks like. Eight hundred k power. Okay. Try this out. Oh, that is a hero. Soul Mirror. Ooh, look at these guys. They're like a giant male and female fire elemental. <laughs> Interesting. It seems like he's immune to damage. Okay. This is kind of stupid. I 
this seems like a very boring game mode. Double strike effects. Lame. <clears throat> That's boring. I hate when this game limits you how you have to play. Alright. And where's the other guy? <clears throat> wow, that wasn't very fun. <clears throat> Okay. What are they immune to now? Not immune? Alright, this will be an easy one. They got pretty cool looking units, but I don't really love how the mechanics are. Yeah. <laughs> he did not deal 20 million damage. What's the true damage? Nothing. I don't even think he did 2 million damage. He didn't do anything. <clears throat> oh, what's the trick to this one? You just gotta stun him. Yep. <clears throat> it is this little guy, the gremlin. Now we're gonna focus on stuns. Oh, it doesn't have a stun. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, 
water's gonna do a little ice fall. So it should be frozen, it should be taking damage, but you know, that is not what's happening. It worked that time, very strange. Be taking damage again, but he is not. Oh, now he is. Okay. <clears throat> Very strange. Doesn't look like the mechanics working 100% correctly. 76 million. Yeah, right. Yeah, 6 million looked about right there. You dropped my health a little bit. Alright, well, that's the good game up. I guess that's. It'll keep you entertained, but it doesn't look like it's going to be anything super fun. Maybe later on it'll actually be hard and will be a challenge, but so far it doesn't look like it's much of a challenge. Five hundred diamonds, sweet. like what they're doing with the environment here. Every event they do a little bit something else different. This time it's balloons and stuff, it's kinda cool. No rewards like the Christmas event had, but I'm okay with that. Alright. Yes. We'll also do the dual champs. Try out this new hero. Uh, never mind. I can't try out this new hero. I don't have him. But, try out Kilgore. Show you guys how strong this guy is. He, uh. Some people have him pretty high so far, but he looks like he's gonna be really fun to use. I'm gonna take out. Lightning Elemental, at Orc, doing that, swap these two, push this lane hard. Kill Gore against Rashka. I just love this behemoth change here. Work doing some crazy damage here. Well, there you guys have it. A little review on the new hero. We got Drake on. I actually don't think I did something on Zydar yet either. So I'll read you guys Zydar skills. For his specialty. Cooldown to summon fire elemental and gate of fire reduced by 30% on the health of all summoned creatures. All summon all creatures summoned by allies increased by 20%. That's a good skill, you know, it reduces their cooldown, which is even more awesome. And it buffs summon creatures by 20%. A two-star attack and defense of all units summoned by allies increased by 30% and 10% respectively, so 30% more attack, 10% more defense. A three-star, whenever you're summoned, creature dies, your hero recovers one spell point, and the cooldown for all spells is reduced by one second. This skill makes Zydar, at a point, he will become almost unkillable, 
because he will be able to summon creatures and have the mana and cooldown to keep summoning them faster you can kill them. And then at 4 star Zydars, spell damage increased by 20% for every summon creature on the battlefield. With a 3 star it's only possible if his summon creatures is not limited for every time he summons. If you can summon multiple packs, then I'll do it. You can hit a point where it's almost unkillable. And for his ult, he has the Gate of Fire. Raise one Gate of Fire in the target area and summon three imp units at level 3. It'll remain for 20 seconds with an attack of 386 and HP of 5232. So this skill, I've seen in action before, and it doesn't just summon one group of imps, it summons multiple. So this means, so if he summons it three different times, you'll be able to summon nine for one skill. And then we have Fire Arrow, deals 1,983 fire spell damage on enemy units in a certain area and burns them last for five seconds. Standard Fire Arrow, Firewall, Luminar Firewall doing 196 plus 718 continue spell damage on enemy units around the wall every 0.5 seconds, lasts for 10 seconds. Pretty decent damage spell, but it's pretty easy to evade. And the AI doesn't summon it very well. Then you have Fire Elementals, summon 9 Fire Elementals, level 3 in the target area. Fire Elementals will remain for the whole battle with an attack of 480 and HP of 6352. This is the skill I think is going to be pretty insane with this guy. Because you get 9 of them. So if you end up getting enough Gate of Fires, Fire Elementals out at the same time, you'll keep being able to summon them. And they do get buffs from this. From especially one, two, and four will increase his spell damage for every summoned creature on the field. So this firewall will be able to hit extremely hard. This fire arrow, it'll probably be able to hit normal, like a normal spell. It's pretty weak. It's probably the worst arrow spell too. But this does mean Zydar is going to have a pretty decent role in this game as being a high summoner and he will be able to summon on the back line so it kind of creates two fronts of attack instead of just the standard from the front. I can imagine Devil mixed in with him will be pretty awesome to see. Well there you guys have it. Just a little review on the next on the new units and the new game mode. So far this game mode hasn't been anything too exciting. 